We're at a moment of profound possibility for the future of AI, and for me, I find that possibility not as much in the speculative promise of the tech itself, but much more in the space that has been opened up by the pushback against its misuse and the industry behind it. The question of what kind of AI we want is really an opening to revisit a much more fundamental question, which is what is the kind of world we want and how can AI get us there? Or who holds power today and does AI further concentrate this power? Does it entrench a broken status quo or does it allow us to build a different future? Now, part of why this is the case is that AI has this mirror to the world quality, right? Because data and design choices that reflect particular worldviews, power structures, and norms. But as important as these technical elements around how the, the sausage is made, so to speak, are the more thornier democracy questions. Who gets to decide where and on whom AI is used? In the end, who will profit and who will lose out. In the last decade, we've seen a spectrum of AI systems often deployed to exacerbate power asymmetry between workers and employers, between citizens and state, to devalue low-waged and creative work, and to systematically degrade our information environment in the pursuit of profit. But what could the AI industry, or what could AI and its industry look like if it were optimizing not just for the bottom lines of a handful of gigantic companies, but instead being directed and shaped towards better working conditions, a cleaner environment, and a dignified life for all? My inspiration in this field comes from those fighting to have a say in that conversation, some of whom I'm very lucky to share space with today, and yet not nearly enough of them fill this room. They are on the front lines of challenging an enormously powerful industry, even as they are often portrayed as only on the margins. It's the nurses' unions that are staking their claim in deciding how and whether AI is used in clinical contexts. It's the artists that are reasserting their own value and defending the broader project of human creativity and it's in the technologists, the advocates, and the policy makers that are building towards innovation that brings us closer to the world that we want to live in. Nothing about the shape and trajectory of AI innovation is inevitable. That's what gives me hope, and it is also what keeps me up at night. We need to broaden the horizon for what counts as innovation, what counts as invention, beyond the often very narrow imagination of Silicon Valley, so that we can collectively pursue a vision for AI that serves us all. Thank you. Woo!